That's right. Welcome, Clarissa. Clarissa, you've been, you've always been busy, but these are huge back-to-back -back stories. First, we're talking about AB5 and what's going on in Oakland. Now we're talking about Slink. Clarissa, welcome back to the show and what's been going on over here. Well, thanks for having me back today. Yes, yeah, a lot is going on at Slink. Um, we found out Friday that um, the CEO, um, Chris Kirchner, had been suspended and it follows um, um, a two months period where he was actually suspending um, employees that for supposedly speaking to the media or internally were, were talking to board members and others about the fact that they were not, the employees were not being paid. And so it was kind of like karma comes a call in um, for him on, you know, when he was suspended, but when I talked to some sources, they said that his part, his parting shot at, at the current um, employees was that he was one of the admins on their Google work space or their Google suites, as it used to be called. And he locked out um, users from being able to access the network and the systems to communicate with each other. And um, so they had to spend so one of the executives had to spend a couple hours on the phone with Google to um, to you know get all of the passwords restored and to confirm that he he was who he was to be able to um, you know get that control back for the company and so it it was just kind of a parting shot um, as he after he was suspended. So Clarissa, welcome to the show and. We talked a little bit about this yesterday as well with the news, and we talked with Kevin Hill about this, about how Kirshner was not honoring his financial commitments on different sides. Obviously, the employees aren't being paid, but we also have him taking money that was made for the company and then using it on different endeavors, including sports teams and including sponsorships, things that now he also can't honor those commitments for. And I asked Kevin the question is, when do we look at the potential for criminal charges to come down in this type of case? Like, when do we cross the line between this was just shady business practice to you saying this is actual fraud and embezzlement and is that something that we could potentially see with Kirshner? I think, um, first off, you know, uh, this wrongful termin termination lawsuit that was filed by a former employee, it kind of points to a lot of um, some of the, um, you know, alleged wrongdoings with, and they allege fraudulent behavior on his part. You know, the fact that the company, you know, like I was talking to sources yesterday that, you know, were, weren't able to make their mortgage payments and couldn't pay the, to send their kids to child care um, because of the damage and, and not being paid for months. And, the, and then at the same time, you know, that they were seeing um, photos of, uh, Mr. Kirchner in Ireland playing with, you know, pro golfers and, and, you know, that he was still living large, you know, a, li a large lifestyle while they were, you know, possibly losing, going to lose their homes or, and even to find a new job, you know, you, they still needed the childcare to be able to go on interviews or, or other things. And, and so, you know, they were making some tough decisions while it appeared that, uh, Mr. Kirchner was not, you know, like, and so, you know, I had talked to someone with that was knowledgeable of his average salary per year. And, you know, that they couldn't make it work. The, the $15 million jet, the, you know, the cars, he had a Bentley, um, um, you know, other sports cars and, and a $5 million home and all of this. And they just, you know, on a startup, a tech startup's um, CEO salary, they just couldn't um, figure out how that could be done. And and also the timing of um, some of the things didn't fall into place. Like after um, the Series B, the $60 million Series B funding was secured, um, not long after the, the jet, you know, the $15 million jet, which is for sale now. Um, but you know, it, it was closely, um, and kind of was close. And, and on Twitter, he did say that he paid cash for the jet, but, um, you know, it's still, that's a 
a very massive, you know, expense that on a, on a startup, when, when people inside knew how much he was being paid, they just couldn't make it work. So, um, yeah, the, it's selling for $23.5 million now, the Gulf Stream. But um, there was just some other, um, you know, the house, it was like, like purchased a, a $5 million house in a very exclusive neighborhood in Texas and and just other things. That, but yet, um, you know, like this, by the, the wrongful termination is a civil case, but, you know, no one is saying yet if if they're looking into criminal complaints yet. Um, I know that, you know, I've heard from that some of the investors are looking into or did an internal kind of investigation, which led to Mr. Kirchner's suspension. But that's about as far as as they're going right now to say if any charges have, you know, if they're looking at charges. So oh, Clarissa, from what I understand, it sounds like you're saying he's been suspended. So is there any chance that he might return? Do you know if he's suspended with pay or what kind of stipulations are in play right now? Well, I asked that question and I did um, reach out to a Goldman Sachs um, PR person, which Goldman Sachs was the largest investor, you know, in, in the Series B, $60 million Series B funding and um, also had a board, one of their um, BC, um, you know, um, employees was um, sat on had a place on on Slink's board, and you know, like even though like since January, um, claims have been made about mismanagement of funds and other things, um, he remained until uh, until Friday, and um, so you know, employees said the board knew that the money didn't, you know, when he was, he was saying that they had $30 million in revenue in 2021, when, um, when actually it was closer to $1 million. And that, you know, he said that they had over a dozen clients when I talked to one, um, you know, former employee who was worked on these projects and said they had three. And, and so a lot of things didn't add up. And, and so now it's kind of, it's getting out there. And I think it, there's going to be a, definitely a closer look at the books and, and where that money is since Mr. Kirshner was, you know, the CRO, the chief revenue officer and the CFO both said that um, Mr. Kirchner was the only one that had access to the investment account containing the $60 million investment. So one last question for you before we let you go. Who is still working there and is working there without pay now going on two months? Do they still have employees still doing the business? Or is it just the executive board who really has the responsibility to the company saying, you know what, we have to just finish it out and see it out? I, you know, I, I asked um, some employees yesterday, and a lot of them are... Um, pr you know, pretty vested in the company, you know, so they have something, they want to see it through in case of a sale and maybe, um, you know, they will get something out of it. Um, I know that the two co-founders are still involved. I know that, um, you know, the vice president of sales um, is still there and other, you know, some of the engineers that have been working on, on projects, are staying, but a lot of them, you know, are vested in, in the company and stand to lose, you know, some, you know, we, at this point, we don't know what the company is even valued at, but, you know, they're staying in it because, you know, they were there from the ground up and, you know, feel a duty to the company in some way. But most, I would say, when I talk to other people that, um, the last time two thirds of, of employees we're looking for jobs. And I would say I've heard numbers from like around 10, uh, you know, that are that are remaining at the company. Well, so it sounds like this is going right. to be another developing situation and sounds like there's going to be another one that might be a Netflix special potential that could really kind of come out of this. But thank you so much for joining us today. We'll be sure to follow up with you on how this story develops and I'm sure something else hard hitting as well. <laughs>